Well, this is a nice performance of Know Your Bones. We're asking everybody to turn off all noisemakers. That includes cell phones, pagers, PDAs. And call-in response is expected and encouraged. So, yes! It's a nice performance. Why did you flinch away from what you 
Why would you flinch away from that which you control? When you say walk, we walk. Say talk, we talk. Say go up, we jump. Say go, we go away. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shape. And the bones came together. Bone to his bone. And when I beheld them, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above. But there was no breath. But when you say go, if you say go, this is all for naught. To leave us down here on the ocean. To wither and rot and to be forgotten. And when no one has won but your fear. But if you can say to the wind, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slaves. That they may live. If you can reach into this dark and ugly past, you can pull out the bright and warm future. Say to the wind, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. And we'll stand up on our feet, a great and exceeding army. But if you could listen, if you would listen, you would hear that son of man. These bones are the whole house of Africa. And behold, we say, behold, our bones are wet, and our hope is lost. We are cut out for our parts. But the tomb opened these graves, and caused us to come up out of our graves. Finally, 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 Africa, Africa, Africa. Life, 
and revival. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't sleep the same for days, not with their voices chanting in my ear, our bones, our, our bones, bones, our bones are wet, our hope is lost, we are cut off from our parts. And I couldn't sleep until I promised to discover and recover every bone, every trace, and spend my life putting them back together. Mm, well. Connecting foot bone to leg bone to knee bone mm. to thigh bone, layering each skin with skeleton, flesh, skin, and spirit. Mm. Gathering an exceedingly great army that is here to tell us the, the truth. truth. And waving arms in their deep and 
the water and the rain. I'd, I'd, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to imagine their sandy heads heavy with grief, their hearts teeming with unfathomable sorrow. One, at an equal distance from the extremities of something, central, of a member, of a group, series, or sequence so placed as to have the same number of members on each side, intermediate in rank, quality, or ability, of a language, the period between the old and modern forms. Two, Grammar denoting a voice of verbs in some languages, such as Greek, that express reciprocal or reflexive action. Denoting a transitive or intransitive verb in English with a passive sense. <coughs> Noun. One. The point or position at an equal distance from the sides, edges or ends of something. The point at or around the center of a process or activity, period of time, etc. Informal, a person's waist, or waist and stomach. Passage. Noun. One, the act or process of moving through, under, over, or past something on the way from one place to another. The act or process of moving forward. The right to pass through somewhere. A journey or a ticket for a journey by sea or air. Ornithology of a migrating bird, the action of passing through a place en route to its final destination. Two, a narrow way, typically having walls on either side, allowing access between buildings or to different rooms within a building, a passageway. A duct, vessel, or other channel in the body. Three, 
the process of transition from one state to another, the passing of bill into law, four, a short extract from a book or other printed material, a section of a piece of music, an episode in a longer activity. The middle passage, noun, one, a tragedy, two, hell on earth. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Not when they have required a bus of song in a strange land. Not when they have changed our names, changed the names of our gods, the name and state of our bright and brilliant futures. No. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Not when they have required a bus of song in a strange land. Not when they have changed our names, changed the names of our gods, the name and state of our bright and brilliant futures. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. In no Africa. How can we sing the songs of the Lord? Oh God, in no Africa. If I forget you, if ever, may my right hand forget its cunning. Just die from my lips. May my tongue cleave to Your the face of my mouth. fade from my eyes. If I do not remember you, if the I steep do not slope of your back, my highest joy. May my tongue remember cleave to the Lord, roof of my mouth. The did on the May my right hand fell. lose its Tear tongue. It down and oh God, and no Africa. Daughter, if ever your face should fade from my eyes, happy is the one who repays you. My fingers begin to steep slope of your west. back. Daughter, Babylon, doomed to destruction. Happy is the one who pays you according to what Cleave to the roof of my palace. And may my right hand lose its cutting, oh God. Oh God. Against the rocks. And may you put me to rest. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa, Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa is not the same. Home does not exist. Africa. It's not the same. Home does not exist.
past life as she walked steadily into a bleak, unyielding future. This ocean is her ocean, a sea of her blood, sweat, and tears that swelled as she toiled until her grief was bigger than her body, bigger than she could ever imagine, and had risen to meet her, looking her in the eye, before mercifully swallowing her whole. And her children, who were many, they cried too, wailing until the memory of their sorrow grew to consume them as well. And when their friends and family finally heard the news, they were inconsolable, and the waters, they grew more and more uncontrollable. And the whole earth was a flood for mm -hmm. five hundred years. And the Creator, he cried, because though it had been predicted the world would end in flames, no one had thought it would end in a watery grave. Not when he had promised the multitudes rainbows, doves, olive branches, butterflies for the wanderer and his brood. And the Creator cried because he was so sure that they were all on the same page this once, so sure that the Pantheon was finally moving in the same direction, but, 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 but he should have known. Right. Yes, Caitlin. He should have known that hell has no fury oh, well. like a woman scorned, oh, well. like, like a black woman back broke, broke back, back broke, Ooh. broke back, back broke, forced to carry the Ooh. burden of another race. And, and now, now you've done it. Now you've done it. Oh, well. Now you've done it. How you've done it. Now, now. Didn't anyone ever tell you that she won't stop crying until all her children know her name? And didn't anyone ever tell you that she won't stop crying until all her children know her name? And that Atlas was a black woman. Mm -hmm. okay. Atlas was a black woman. Atlas was a black woman who carried the weight of the world between her protruding shoulder blades dragging behind her the fetters of a past life as she walked steadily into a bleak, unyielding future. table playing hearts with my friends when I recalled a memory of holding other hearts in my hands. I heard it on a ripple like water in the ears spinning in a circle as it rushes near. Yes, I heard him say, hearts are strange. And even stranger when broken, and stranger still when broken open. And yes, bones littered the ocean, but it's easy to forget that there were hearts down there too. Bones mm -hmm. float, you know. Mm -hmm. well. It was those hearts, mm. those heavy, heavy hearts that pulled them down. Watch them sink for a moment until they settle on the ground. Lift up these bones and hearts will be found. Mm. And I know that when they told us to throw those pulse-beating brown bodies overboard, I know that if only they had cut out their hearts, those heavy, heavy hearts that they would have floated back to Africa and then I wouldn't have to imagine a sea of heavy hearts that slipped so simply from my hands mm -hmm. until I'm no longer playing a game of 52 pickup with a never-ending deck of heavy, heavy cards. I mean hearts. Mm -hmm. Heavy, heavy hearts. 60 million mm -hmm. heavy, heavy hearts mm -hmm. that I dropped into the ocean. 60 million and I know because I counted 
as each heavy heart went down. And then I dipped my head into the water when the last heart fell and watched it for years fall in love with the seashell and beat for eternity between heaven and hell. But then a woman caught my eye. A woman whom they say lives in the deepest ocean. They say, too, that she is an assassin. They say, an underwater assassin. But I say, she is a collector. Mm. Or a custodian. Mm. For I saw her moving toward me slowly but at war, turning rocks and mountains as she combed the ocean floor with hands made of ice heading steady for the shore. But when she walked out of the water, her hands were ice no more, for they had both been warmed by those hearts. Those heavy, heavy hearts that warmed her tears and let her cry as she wept to a moon that shone in the sky, passing through Virgo as she emptied her eyes and looked down at the hearts that she gathered that night. Mm. Sixty million hearts, mm -mm -mm. she sighed. And she gave them all back to me when the ship touched the shore, but I mm. couldn't hold them and I let them slip once more mm. into the water <clears throat> and I shut the door, hoping that she'll come back to me to lift me off the floor and pick up these 52 cards and see that my heart is sore because all these things a heavy strange and broken heart was not made to endure but watch it sink for a moment until it settles on the ground lift up these bones and hearts
trade slaves who trade old lives in for new lives, who trade their dignity in for a dehumanizing of their humanity. And they trade and they give. And they trade and they give. And they give. And they give. And they give. Into something rich and strange. But, but traders, the traders, they trade too, selling, selling parts of their souls, their dignity, their, their humanity, their sensibility, their, their capacity to remember. Oh, wow. Oh, and they trade and they take. And they trade and they take and they take and they take and they take into something rich and strange. And the gods are all silent and stealthy and living in the sea. And the gods are all in the sea and swallowed in the sea and living in the sea as something rich and strange and ugly. I see her run, I see a change. 
See you. 